Okay, so here is the second part of this review problem that I gave you in class. And here we've got two sort of very different looking products. Uh, again, the same exercise that I was talking about before in the first video. The thing I'm going to be looking for here is sort of what is happening to go from this starting material to this product. Again, I'm seeing a double bond form. I'm seeing an OH minus, or excuse me, an OH group leaving. So this tells me D hydration, right? We're going to be doing some dehydration reactions here. Um, and same with this product. It looks really funny, and we'll talk about this one a little bit more in a minute. Um, but both of these are going to be dehydration type reactions. So I see H2SO4. Again, that is H+. plus. That's my source of H+. Plus. And the first step of this reaction, if I see this OH and I see H+, plus, every single time, we're going to see this again and again and again. Um, we're going to be protonating that OH group. So the product of that is this, um, you know, protonated alcohol. And then, oops, and then the next step is going to be elimination of that, you know, water molecule, essentially. So that's going to lead us to a carbocation intermediate. So this is our carbocation intermediate. And so from here, this is sort of going to be the first thing that we um, form. We've got a tertiary carbocation intermediate, so that's going to be very stable. Um, so no sort of shifting is going to happen here. And then from this carbocation, we should be able to make the different products that we see here. So for the first one, um, just a simple elimination. That's going to end up giving me my first product. So hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I'm not going to draw it out just for, for time's sake. And then for the next product, here's where something really funny is happening, right? So how do I end up with this thing? How do I get to here? Um, you know, one way that I would, would sort of think about it is I'd say, well, this piece here, right? That piece looks a lot like this piece. So how do I make this piece sort of look like this piece? Um, in my mind, if I'm looking at this, I'm sort of saying to myself, well, it seems like I'm forming a new bond from here to whatever this, you know, um, carbon is here. So what I might do is I might label these carbons, A, B, and C. So where my carbocation is, we'll call that carbon C. And up here I can say, well, A, B, and C. So it really looks like I'm forming a new bond from this carbon to this carbon C, which is where our carbocation is. And then these two methyl groups up here, right, those could be these methyl groups here. So one thing that can happen, arrow got a little funky there, but I can take these electrons from my alkene, and those electrons can go and form a new bond, new sigma bond with this carbocation carbon um, C. So the product of that reaction, so this is A, this is B, this is C, is going to look like this. And really be careful about where you're drawing your carbocation. If we want to go back over to this picture and say, well, I've got a hydrogen here, and I don't have any hydrogens here. So if this carbon here, right, which is this carbon here, if it loses those electrons from that double bond, well, I'm going to form a carbocation at this position um, at the very bottom there. And then to get to my final product, I'm going to, again, do that elimination with water to form, reform that double bond. So forming that double bond here is going to get me to my final product um, that I want. So this one is definitely a little tricky, um, but, you know, sort of going through it stepwise, thinking about, well, where are these carbons coming from? Where are the bonds coming from? That's going to be the key as we move forward. All right. Hopefully that helps. And if you have any questions, um, please let me know.